Hey, what's up guys? Hello, Flush here. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the top 10 most realistic looking Fast and Furious cars in GTA. We're going to spec them to the exact same level. These are my top 10 picks of the closest cars. Now, coming in at number 10, it's DK's Accomplice in the Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. Now, you can clearly see that this is a very detailed and obvious car. And um, yeah, this list is going to be very nitpicky. As, the num as you see, number 10 already looks like a car that is very much like the original car but if we do look at it closely we do see the front bumper is different the hood is different the fact that this is based off a 370 instead of a 350 uh, we delivery is the most striking resemblance and um, obviously it was based off the car in the movie and with this chocolate brown paint job and bright yellow pearlescent um, it it looks nearly identical but then yeah we don't have the same kind of body parts the rear bumper is different the hood is different. As I said, the front bumper is different. Um, the wheels are very similar, but still different. But it, I think with this car, it's the overall package. Overall, it looks very similar. But this is the lowest on the lookalike list. And yeah, let me know if you want me to do a video on actually building, not all Fast and Furious cars, because I'll be there forever, but the majority of the most important ones. Coming in at number nine. I don't know if you guys are expecting it to be this far down the list, but the Fast and Furious 6 Mark 1 Escort. But yeah, the retinue and the retinue, it's got a lot of modifications that do indicate it's Fast and Furious kind of styling. And uh, we already have the tuner wheels. We do have like a vented front bumper and we've got fog lights, even though they're not that big in the movie, they're a lot bigger. The staying with the chrome bumper detailing here. Uh, I know in the movie, it's actually like, it's a two piece bumper. From very from every angle, it's very noticeable. It's a very noticeable car, and I think Ford Escorts are very famous cars. But when this released, it just I don't think it went to the number one spot on the Ford Escort popularity list. This is the car that's most known around the world. Coming in at number eight, the RX-7 from the first Fast and Furious, the one that Dom drives. Now another car that has a livery <laughs> with you know some statement from Fast and Furious, which is winning is winning. And uh, yeah, it's got a very similar livery. I think it's a bit off-putting when it's all green at the top uh, hood. It's not just white. It would have been pretty nice if it was white. But yeah, winning is winning. We've got an RX-7, which was from the first Fast and Furious. And um, there's a bit, you know, there's a bit of misplacements. I think this looks very similar with the back bumper. The spoiler is very similar. It's just when we get to the front here and we actually look at the front, you can see the bumper designs are a bit different. Again, missing fog lights, um, a different type of design. The wheels are the biggest difference, but look at it. Just look how close Rockstar got it. If we did, did a little Photoshop and then we, you know, we linked the lights up there, I think it would have looked very, very close to the actual car. But you can tell with the modifications, this car clearly has Fast and Furious in its design themes. Coming in at number 7, the yellow R33 from the first Fast and Furious. Now, being one of the only R33s in the franchise, not a very famous car, but it's the Pizza Boy car from the first Fast and Furious. Now, we know that a lot of the back of this LG Retro is based off the R33, but look at the striking resemblance in the movie and uh, of this car in the game. And even the livery, the livery is called Pizza Boy, which is another referral to Fast and Furious and Star do that a lot. I think they do risk a lot as well because of how, you know, much Fast and Furious franchise actually copyright. So coming to the front end, <laughs> I don't know why it's got so much scratches. It didn't when I was looking at it before I was recording and then I recorded to Rockstar Editor. But the front bumper is very similar. We've got the same type of front splitter. For some reason, Rockstar, you know, they don't add fog lights i'm not sure why um we've got an exposed intercooler we couldn't remove the plate the plate is not on in the actual movie but um we couldn't really do anything with that because you can move the plate around but you can't remove the plate and yeah i think one of those that are very distinguished again but not that much of a famous car but a very cool car Coming in at number 6, the Red Daytona from Fast and Furious 6. I mean, after filming, I realized I probably should have put a roll cage in here because it does have it in the movie. But look how similar these cars look. It's another one of them where the car is clearly based off the Daytona. You can get the same color, 
it's another plain Jane so you know if you put certain mods on it they can be overlooked um, the headlights are then you can't get the option of having a clear headlight and not being pop-up headlights so you have to go for these kind of covered ones the wheels are slightly different <laughs> I think when I was making it I looked at the toy instead and the toy has thicker wheels again for some reason there is hardly any actual Fast and Furious pictures on Google Images. So, you know, you have to make do with a lot of toy images. Then we've got the same kind of bonnet and we got like hood latches as well. Pretty cool. Now, coming to the top five, we're starting off with the Supra from the first Fast and Furious. Now, clearly, you know, through a telescope, a mile up the road, it's, you know, you will be able to distinguish where this is from. The Fast and Furious Orange Supra. Now, you know, GTA clearly had some indications. And I realized that, you know, it's very hard to, uh, you know, get images of Fast and Furious. They are so harsh on their copyright. I think they just take down any website that has their pictures. So I think that's why, you know, I think that's why there's a bit, you know, the liveries are a bit off. Otherwise, I think GTA would have, like, made it a lot more closer. Now, it, the livery is called 10 minute car from the scene that 10 second car it's not a 10 second car it's a 10 minute car I think I'm pretty sure that's the line from my memory uh, and yeah clear indication we've got similar wheels uh, in the movie I'm pretty sure they were chrome and um, there were five spokes and they were you know not exactly the same design we've got the same hood options in the movie the front bumper is a bit more aggressive it's got that earlier cat type of design we do have a similar type of spoiler to the one in the movie and yeah, it's just so, you know, recognizable. I think people don't know off by heart, you know, the actual details of the bumpers and the wheels. But that orange with that livery, with that bonnet, with that spoiler, you can clearly see where this car is from. It seems like a lot are from the first Fast and Furious. And so is this one, the Green Eclipse. Now, another very, very striking car, like the orange Supra. You can see this from miles, miles away and know where this is from. Now... It, this has gone into so much detail. I think the front just looks nearly the exact same. Even the livery has, you know, the little detail like the writing right between the headlights. D the livery is called Almost Had You, just like the 10 minute car kind of thing on the Supra. And yeah, it's just, I think this is more detailed than the Supra because it has the same back diffuser. The only thing is the spoiler. The spoiler doesn't come in that kind of double spoke but this livery i do think is the closest and this car just has the combination to kind of it even has the roof scoop that's you know on the actual car as well the detail on the bonnet the fact that you can get a carbon bonnet so you can make it look black i think that's just it is very high on this list for a reason we're nearly at the top now we've got the nova from fast and furious 9. a movie that i've not watched yet and um, a car that I've not seen except these Google images. Again, Google images disappointed me here with this one because there were only a few images of this actual car. Now, there's one that's there's it's flipping in the air and you can clearly have an indication of what the wheel looks like. But this is very close. Like, the car itself, the Nova, actually looks very similar to the Vamos in GTA. And then you've got the similar stripes on the hood. You've got the color. You've got very similar wheels, similar bumper. This car is very much the same as it is in real life. It's striking how they got the car to look so similar and handle so similar. At number two, the white Supra from the sad ending of Fast and Furious 7. Now, I think you guys knew this was going to be very high on the list. And yeah, it is the Supra, the white Supra. And you know, the main reason for this is how simple it is. It seems like the more basic, simple cars are on top of the list here because the modification suit and yeah this is just a great plain example it's the best example on the list but the most accurate example of the supra the only real difference is you know the exhaust at the back single exit on the right and it's not on the left and uh, the wheels are a bit different similar design to be honest but they're a bit different um and yeah we've we've got the same splitter we've got a similar front bumper we don't have the fog lights it just looks so similar and uh, if you or anyone remembers that scene they definitely remember this car now at number one the challenger from too fast too furious and you know this is very distinguished of course it wasn't as famous as a movie as a few others 
So, you know, if you're driving on the streets of Los Santos, people might not get it straight away. But the striking resemblance, just going through the options on this car, you've got the same options. Of course, a lot of the reason for this is because the car is, you know, near stock in the movie. So you can see that you can add the, you know, the original riveted bumpers and the fact that you've got these little bars on the bumpers in the rear that you can add as an option in LSC. You've got the same type of hood. And yeah, you can basically build this car to look exactly the same. The body styling, the, the only major difference with the car is the fact that it doesn't have the black stripe at the back. So where the spoiler area is, it doesn't have that black stripe. But yeah, the Goat Nut is one of those cars that looks so realistic as well. So the combination of being so realistic and, um, you know, it's one thick stripe instead of a t double stripe that I've got in there. There's just too much resemblance. The wheels look nearly exact as well. So it's a perfect example of the movie car. Thanks so much for watching everyone and let me know if you do want to see a breakdown of how to actually build all these cars and more from Fast and Furious and I'll just do a little tutorial on how to build, I don't know, about 20, 30 of the most famous cars in Fast and Furious. Let me know if you want to see that. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.